I'm a banker because I want to help people's dreams come true. And yet, the last several years have been probably the hardest years of ever being a banker in my entire professional career. The press became more intense about the industry's role in that, and more importantly, the broad brushing that was kind of going on that the industry is bad and the people are bad. I, I think that that challenge is probably one of the hardest that I've had to deal with because it was at the heart of who, why I chose to do what I do for a living. As a leader, I need to be in front of all that and leading my team through that and making them feel good about who they are and the value they create and the role that they play in making things better. But it was so intense at one point in time for me, I actually thought long and hard, can I do this anymore? I think the amazing thing for me was the cathartic moment. We were doing a quarterly earnings call um, here in the company. I had a couple thousand associates on the call. And as I was closing my remarks, I said, look, I know it's been tough. And I know you're feeling it. And I know you feel bad. And, and I know, you know it's hard to go places. And as a banker, you feel badly about um, what's going on. But I said, you know, remember why we got in this business. Be proud of what we do because we do really great work. We make a difference in people's lives. We'll continue to make a difference in people's lives. And I let it get to me. So I acknowledge that I let it get to me. And I felt like a victim of it and realized that I could take control of the situation. So I was vulnerable with my team, you know, and shared how I was feeling. I actually got notes later that day and weeks following telling me how many of them were feeling the same way and how me being honest and transparent about it really helped them kind of get through it.